With Halo Infinite's E3 presentation right around the corner, the big multiplayer question people are asking is, will this game have a battle royale? Well, in this video, we'll take a look at all of the rumors and speculations and the possibilities of a battle royale within Halo Infinite. So stay tuned throughout the whole thing to understand all the details. One of the longest running debates within the Halo community for the last few years has been whether or not Halo Infinite should have a battle royale within its game modes. As battle royale has proven itself to be a very fun mode that a lot of people really enjoy, and it seems to be the most popular mode out there, you would think that Halo and Microsoft would want to capitalize on the most popular mode with their possibly most popular shooter. So in this video we'll take a nice long look at the long windy road of all the leaks and rumors and possibilities about Battle Royale within Halo Infinite, so at the end of this video we'll know for sure whether or not Battle Royale will be announced for Halo Infinite. So if you guys like these analytical kind of videos, make sure you tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this. If you want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo as we ramp up to the release of Halo Infinite, make sure you tap subscribe. Let's get right into the content here. So let me take you back all the way to 2018. Yes, this is when the Battle Royale rumors really started coming around, mainly because of Jeff Easterling on the Mixer channel, rest in peace Mixer, by the way, during one of their casual live streams, answering questions from the community. And then Jeff Easterling replied to a question whether that Battle Royale will be in Halo Infinite. And we have that famous saying now within the Halo community and saying, I'll tell you now, the only BR we're interested in is the battle rifle. And people have been holding true to this saying ever since 2018. Even though Halo Infinite's gone through a lot of changes since that time, people are still holding on true to that statement. In April of 2019, Microsoft news reporter Brad Sams talked about the possibilities of Halo Infinite having a battle royale and saying that 343 was seriously considering adding in a battle royale for the multiplayer suite of modes. But saying that this battle royale wouldn't just be your average battle royale, it would be something different, offer some new kind of game play elements to it to where it would really stand out amongst the competition of Apex Legends, Fortnite, Warzone. But actually Frank O'Connor seemed to shoot down this rumor in a forum post talking about it. Responding on the reset area here, talking about saying if I'm interpreting the headline as Halo Infinite is launching with a battle royale mode that is not the case you can probably make your own battle royale mode in Forge even right now it's a mode not a genre so you can have BR but we are interested in big social modes and loads of organic shenanigans yes specifically a blimp of survivors heading to an island after a metaphorical lecture from Beat Takashi? No. So that's example number two of a 343 employee shooting down the idea of Battle Royale happening within Halo Infinite. And then pretty much from April until the end of November, things were pretty quiet from 343. There was a leak that happened on a Japanese webpage that cited Halo Infinite as like the storefront kind of thing, and it listed Battle Royale as an option that the game has to offer. So that kind of boosted the rumors back up throughout the summer. 343 was pretty quiet about it for any kind of official talking points, but then later on a leak of some sorts talked about a 45 versus 45 banish versus UNSC, big team battle mode kind of thing, how there's going to be battle royale and all this kind of stuff, and even the community director Sketch from 343 responded to this one as well, saying, nothing gets a post-holiday Monday like a fresh unfound Halo Infinite rumors. Continuing on though, saying, by the way, yes, I'm aware we could solve this with real news. We certainly have some things we're overdue on and eager to talk about more. We're in the process of pulling together a year-end update. So this kind of led us to the monthly development updates that we've been receiving recently ever since December up until April where we're getting monthly updates. We did not get one for May as right now 343 is currently heads down trying to make sure that their E3 presentation is up to snuff where they want it to be. But that leak that we were talking about the 45 versus 45 and the Battle Royale, yeah that was completely fabricated. Later on, the leaker themselves actually did say that, yeah, I just made it up for the clicks to see how much people would fall for it. And well, we all kind of did. I definitely reported on it as well. I did say where they were leaks and they definitely should be taken with a grain of salt. So I weren't running them with these as like legitimate facts, but you know, people were definitely holding strong to this. But then when a few months later, we had this beautiful tweet, which stirred everything back up with Courage, who's a big name content creator here online 
said at Halo, I've played Halo since 2005. It's my favorite game series of all time. If Halo Infinite doesn't release with a robust and well-made Battle Royale game mode, then it will be one of the greatest gaming failures in history. Have a good day. Obviously, Jack here being a little hyperbolic on his statements, I'm pretty sure that Halo would not be the greatest gaming failure of all time if it didn't launch with a Battle Royale. But this kind of, again, brought up a lot of discussion about Battle Royale, and we haven't really heard much from 343 about Battle Royale and if it's happening or not in some kind of official capacity. We've basically seen three shutdowns from 343 employees, though. Starting with Jeff Easterling, then we had Frankie, and then we had Sketch just kind of saying these are unfounded rumors. The reason why people are so interested in having a battle royale within Halo Infinite is because Halo is such a unique shooter. No other mainline shooter plays like Halo. There's a lot that this game franchise has to offer for this mode, which is the hottest ticket out there right now. If you want people to just jump in and play your game because it's brand new, add a battle royale, people will start playing it. I mean, hell, even Borderlands added a battle royale-like mode in their game. And we've seen a huge boom in popularity for Call of Duty once they added in Warzone for the battle royale mode that people pretty much all left the multiplayer side of things and just started playing the BR, which it's a solid BR. It actually might be my favorite because it's the easiest to jump in and out of. And in fact that the Battle Royale mode itself seems to be actually doing a better job of getting people to spend money on the full product and also to market Call of Duty a lot better than actual marketing. In this article from GameStop, they even mentioned saying here, in fact, Activision management has said the success of the free-to-play Warzone encouraged players to pick up the premium Call of Duty, Modern Warfare, and now Black Ops Cold War. So they have the data to showcase that these free-to-play players jumped over to the paid premium version as well, which that's what Halo Infinite's having right now with a free multiplayer and then a premium version, if you guys want to call that, with the campaign and whatever comes with that as well. So the reason why people really want Battle Royale in Halo, not only for just the fun game mode itself, but the fact that it will actually help expand the popularity of Halo and actually might even get more people to buy the actual game than actual marketing itself. In the We Are 343 video posted up on YouTube, though, there is a very important phrase that Jerry Hook, who's one of the lead producers at 343 for Halo Infinite, said this about Halo Infinite. I think that really sets the tone of what they're trying to do with Halo Infinite and what kind of game they want to create here, saying that the franchise itself doesn't become an amalgamation of what the market is currently doing, but that what makes Halo unique remains unique for our players, our community, and for the industry. Essentially saying that it sounds like 343 is kind of done chasing trends, which it did with Halo 4 and 5, and just trying to make a good, solid Halo game and let that stand on its own because they believe what they have with Halo is good enough to do just that. So after watching this whole video, you're probably wondering, okay, so is there gonna be Battle Royale within Halo Infinite? Are we gonna see it at E3? My thoughts are going to be probably no. Just because at every turn, at every situation, we've seen 343 deny the existence of Battle Royale within Halo. But it is odd that 343 has never just straight up just said no Battle Royale. Why string players along if it's not going to be in the game? Because that's the number one question people are going to be asking with the multiplayer of Halo Infinite, which most likely we will have a reveal of within E3 this year. I feel like if 343 just straight up said no Battle Royale, then it would probably get people asking more questions to go, well, if there's no Battle Royale, what's the cool new mode you're going to put in the game? I think I get more interested in Halo than saying that there is or is not a Battle Royale. Of course, I am just connecting all the dots here. E3, I think, is when we'll finally understand whether or not there will be Battle Royale within Halo. I don't think we'll get the announcement of no Battle Royale within Halo on the E3 stage, maybe in like a blog post or something like that after the event is completed. But I think at, at the moment, it's either going to be the front and center piece of the multiplayer showcase or it's not even going to be talked about at all. But I guarantee you, if we have some confirmation whether or not Battle Royale exists, I will make a video 100% on this channel as soon as possible. So if you've been on the loop for Halo for the last few days or so, or missed any content from me recently, check out the videos on the screen right here. I got a link to all my news and informational videos right there. So thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.